In 2022, Turkey has become one of the most visited countries in the world. That is why in today's video we're going to share with you some general information about the country. As well, I'll answer to some of the questions I get asked the most. So if you are coming to Turkey soon, this video will give you a better idea of this beautiful country. But before we start with our video, we invite you to check our two digital booklets, The Best of Istanbul and Cappadocia and The Best of Turkey, where you'll find useful information on where to stay, where to eat, how to move from city to city, and other suggestions that we do not share on our social media. You may find the links in the description box and pinned comment. The official currency of Turkey is a Turkish lira, and as of October 11th, one US dollar is equal to 18.60 Turkish lira, or one euro is equal to 18.07 Turkish lira. US dollars and euros are well accepted at the most touristy areas of the country. However, we always recommend paying in the local currency. This is for better prices. To exchange your foreign currency in Istanbul, the best place is inside the Grand Bazaar. For more information on the exact place and comparison with other areas, you can check this other video. The official language is Turkish. Keep in mind that in the most touristy areas, it will be a bit easier using English and other foreign languages, but at some point, a translation app will be needed. Its capital is Ankara. However, it's often confused with Istanbul. Istanbul is not the capital, but it's the largest and most populated city of the country. Turkey has approximately over 85 million inhabitants, and its largest and most populated city is Istanbul. Turkey is surrounded by sea on three sides, the Mediterranean in the south, the Aegean in the west, and the Black Sea in the north. The Marmara Sea in the northwest includes the Istanbul and Dardanelles Straits, and it's a territorial water of Turkey. Turkey neighbors to the northwest with Bulgaria, Greece to the west, Armenia and Azerbaijan and Iran to the east, Georgia to the northeast, Syria to the south, and Iraq to the southeast. Remember that depending on your nationality, a visa to enter Turkey will be needed. Some nationalities are enabled to get an online visa, which is quite easy and quick to obtain. However, many others need to get it directly from an embassy of the Republic of Turkey. If you want to know if your nationality requires a visa or not, then you can watch this other video where we show how to check it directly from the official website. The best time to visit Turkey fully depends on each person's preferences. Turkey is a great destination to visit all year round. It will offer us a great summer holiday as well as a winter holiday. But if you want to know more about the best time to visit Istanbul by taking into consideration less tourists, more affordable prices and even better weather, you can watch this other video. Turkey is a very diverse country where we can enjoy stunning landscapes from turquoise beaches along the Mediterranean and Aegean regions, unique landscapes with unbelievable rock formations that seem taken from a fairy tale. Some of the greener areas of the country located in the Black Sea region and where the famous Turkish sea comes from. But some of the most visited provinces for every first timer are Istanbul, Bursa, Nevşehir, where we can find Göreme and Cappadocia region, Denizli for Pamukkale, Izmir for Ephesus, and Ankara, the capital of the country. However, there are plenty of other less visited provinces that worth a visit. One of the main questions when traveling within Turkey is how to move from city to city. In reality, it's quite simple. The country is very well connected by any sort of transportation, and this includes buses, planes, and trains. Turkey might seem small on a map, but traveling by bus can take many hours. So if you're tight in time, 
you need to plan accordingly or take overnight pauses. The quickest way is to always buy plane, however, not the most affordable one. The last one is by train. Turkey has a good train system and even in some provinces we also have the high speed train, like from Istanbul to Ankara. There are also trains connecting Izmir and Denizli, where we can find Pamukkale, and even one of the most scenic ones in winter time, the famous Eastern Express from Ankara to Kars. If you want to know more about each one of these transportation systems, best companies and updated timetables and fees, you may check them on our digital booklet Discovering Turkey, where we also share the official links to their websites and how to look for the most popular routes. If you love visiting museums and archaeological sites, then there is a way to save money for the entrance fees. For each region of Turkey, there is a museum pass that can be used at the museums and archaeological sites members of the Ministry of Culture of Turkey, and there is one covering in all of the country. If you want to check the different types of museum passes, their costs, validity, and where to buy them, you can then watch this other video. When it comes to visiting Turkey just as a tourist, it's quite affordable compared to many other countries. However, in recent months and due to the unstoppable inflation the country has been suffering, now it's not as affordable as before. But still, it's a budget friendly, especially when having US dollars, euros or pounds. If you want to check the recent prices in Istanbul at the most touristy areas, then you can watch this other video. Almost in every video, we try to motivate people to use the public transportation system in Istanbul. The city is very well connected and you'll hardly get lost. Plus, it's very affordable compared to many other cities, especially in Europe. It's quite effective and safe. This way, you will be able to use your time in the city in a more effective way. And of course, you'll save much more money than if you use taxis. Just keep in mind that Istanbul is one of the largest and most populous cities in the world. The public transportation, especially at peak hours, is very crowded and sometimes we cannot get in right away. Also people living in the city use it, not only tourists, so it's normal for it to be packed at peak hours. That's also part of traveling, right? Immersing in the daily life of a mega city like Istanbul, so please be patient. Credit and debit cards are widely accepted in the country, especially Visa and MasterCard. When it comes to American Express, there are limited places where it is accepted. In my case, I rarely use cash because I pay everything with my cards, but also having some cash with you, especially if you want to buy some street delicacies like sea meat or even corn, or go shopping at any local market, then cash is your way to go. In Istanbul, there are some areas that are best for visitors to stay. Usually, these are Sultanahmet and surrounding areas. Galata, Taksim, Isiklal Street, and Kadikoy on the Asian side. Each one of these areas has pros and cons. All depends on your personal preferences, budget, and even if you're looking for a more family-friendly area. If you want to know everything about the best areas to stay in Istanbul and their pros and cons, then you can watch this other video. Generally in Turkey, us women can wear whatever we want, especially in the biggest cities like Istanbul. If you go to the coast area like Antalya, Mula, Izmir, you can even wear shorts, miniskirts, crop tops, etc. without a problem. But when visiting other provinces that are more traditional, it's better to dress a bit more modestly. Also, anywhere in the country when visiting mosques or any sacred place, we must cover our hair, arms and legs. Other than that, you don't have to worry about what kind of clothes to bring. Now that you have a better idea of the country, you can plan your trip accordingly. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week. See you next time. Bye-bye.